What's going on guys? Geosnow right here, welcome to Mode My Eye. In today's video we're going to see a tweak called Smart Volume Control that is going to change once and for all the interface of the volume controller of your iPhone. So you probably know Apple gives you this uh, by default. Uh, I cannot control the volume because I'm recording, but this is how it looks like, la HUD, which is uh, a shame by now, it looks pretty damn bad. Or if you wanna use the um, the one from here when you're listening to music or when, when you're using an application that generates sound, you can use the, uh, the control in here. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can change that with this simple and great tweak. So moving on, we're going to go to its settings because this one has to be activated. It's called, as I said, Smart Volume Control. It's version 10.0 and um, this tweak is available on Cydia. I'm going to show you how you can download it. Anyways, when you install it, it comes disabled. So you must go in here and enable it first. Okay, so I have enabled it and by default it looks like this. As you can see, it changed into this um, this little capsule peel style in there with the uh, percentage. Then you have a couple styles and this is where it gets to look pretty damn cool. So we're going to go in here to view styles and you have a couple of them. The uh, first one, the smart minimal view is the one that is actually uh, present by default. Then you have the um, smart minimal line. I don't know if you can see it, it's a line that can go from the left to the right or uh, backwards. So um, the next one is the smart bar, which is this one. You can see that little controller in here, that little sick bar. Then you have the uh, smart slider, which is this one in here, has this, um, this speakers, a speaker with no uh, sound waves and this one with sound waves. And then you have this, uh, this dark, transparent, translucent uh, background. Then you have status bar volume, which doesn't do anything in my case, on my device. It's probably either a bug or I'm doing it something wrong. Then you have Nougat-like view, which is, of course, taken from Android, uh, from Android Nougat, and looks like this. It's pretty dope, looks quite okay, and you have multiple. You have the um, the normal audio video volume, and if you, if you press that arrow, you have the ringtone volume and phone call receiver volume which is okay. Then you have the YouTube-like view. You probably know that um, the um, on, on Apple you can change on your own application uh, the way the volume controller look like, uh, looks like, but unfortunately you cannot change how, how it looks like on the device itself, on the uh, springboard. So this is how YouTube implement their own uh, volume rocker. It looks like this, taken from the YouTube application. It looks pretty dope. Uh, this is um, this is quite okay. Then we move on to uh, WA or WhatsApp status volume, which is this one. Again, something that looks pretty cool. It's uh, here on the uh, on the left side, and it's pretty dope. Then you have the CC or control center like volume mixer, which is by far my favorite. I'm going to exit in here back and I'm going to show you how it looks like. It looks like this. It comes in the light style by default and you have quite a few things in here. You can activate the dark mode and it persists and you have the, um, the sliders for the volume, for um, this alarms and so on for ringtone. Then you have in call, you have show labels on and off. You can show the labels or you can uh, actually hide them. Or you have the uh, the brightness level in here which can control the brightness as well. Unfortunately, we have to go ahead in the settings and set this one to stay up more. If you're going to use this one or the Nougat one which contain more sliders, we're going to go ahead on the general settings and change how much it stays on. So we're going to go here to HUD auto dismiss delay. We're going to make this a little bit bigger, a little bit more because we want it to stay more. All right, so as you can see, it now stays more up and I can uh, control it better and I also control the brightness which is uh, which is quite okay because you have all of them uh, on the same place and it's quite nice then going on in here on the general settings you also have lock screen volume which is going to basically when you enable it is going to to make this uh, tweak to also pop up on the lock screen you have auto hide for the status bar which once enabled is going to automatically hide the status bar when a view style is presented on it on the status bar then you have the wake up lock screen so when you're using the uh, the tweak and the volume rockers of the device it's going to also light up the um, the device the lock screen quite okay moving back on in here you have the hud auto dismiss as i said you already know what it does uh, it is going to uh, control the time the HUD stays on. For example, this is the minimum and this is the maximum, which is five seconds. 
So it's going to stay up for five seconds. You have uh, you have plenty of time to do the uh, the toggling part and so on. This is useful if you're using uh, one of these styles, for example, the Nougat or this CC1 that contain more uh, more sliders and you need more time to control them. So I'm going to leave it to the maximum. Then you have the volume step count, which is going to control how much is going to increase or decrease the volume on a single uh, tap. Then you have the shadow. Now, if you want it to have a different shadow, a different uh, shadow offset, you can change that in here. And as you can see, it does have one. Now, you can uh, you can actually choose the color. The default one is dark gray, looks like this. And uh, of course you can play with uh, various colors. I'm going to, to try to make it some bluish, or some, oh, like this. Let's try to see. As you can see, it looks something like this. You can also control the position of the, um, of the uh, shadow offset, so by uh, pressing on here and of course sliding to the left or to the right, you're controlling the uh, X and Y coordinates. So something like this, you can see. Yeah, this is pretty much what you can do. Uh, and I'm going to disable them like this. And you have the uh, activation methods. You can integrate this with activator and you have swipe status bar or more activation methods. Then let's go back in here and what we have more is the settings per view style. Now each uh, individual view style has its own uh, properties so you can definitely change them accordingly depending on which one you're using. Uh, as I say for, uh, for any of them you have their own properties that you can change but I am currently using the uh, CC like one so I can control it. And we have a couple of uh, particular ones. For example, we can add an X button to it. For example, right now it doesn't have one, but if I uh, enable that, let me try to do this. Let's wait for it to go. Okay, it's now going to have one. As you can see, it has a uh, black X button in here that is going to close the, um, the HUD. Then you have swipe up HUD. So if you, can, um, you can dismiss it by swiping up. Okay, then you have the hide uh, HUD elements. Now this one is important because it lets you to actually hide different parts of it. For example, I want to hide this one, I can do so, or this one, or this one, or this one, like this, and you can make it look very, very standard. I'm going to also disable the X button. Let me uh, make it disappear. Okay, and now it looks like this, which is interesting and you can re-enable them as you wish. So pretty cool. Then you have the color settings, which you can choose the background, the line, the thumb, the icons and the labels. So I'm going to go to the background, restore this one in here. You can set up the opacity, um, if so you wish, and I'm going to try to make it uh, some purple style like this. Go back, let's see if it did work. Yep, but you have to enable the uh, light mode. Okay, looks like this. You can also have the um, the labels on. Looks quite okay. Let me try to change it uh, again. Make it a little bit much more dark. Okay, like this. Okay, it looks fine. Go ahead in here, choose the line. Okay. Yep, looks fairly good to me. Well, it can be adjusted, but um, yeah, you got the idea. And let's try to make this... Um, Green. I'm trying to, to get some colors that are visible. Yeah, this controls the icons in here. I would definitely make them uh, white for the uh, sake of this thing because they look okay white depending on the color you're choosing. For example, in this case, it looks good white. Then you have the labels, which you can change them. For example, I'm going to, to make them dark green in here. And of course, you can get back in all of these settings, you can get back to the default, which is dark gray by just pressing in here. So, and then you have the dark, uh, dark mode darkness, which is quite an interesting name to give. Uh, if you activate the dark mode, it's not going to, um, to take up the background, but it can, you can uh, actually choose how dark you want it, how much darkness you need for, um, for this in your life. In my case, it's like this, but as you can see, it does take the line and the, uh, the thumb. So pretty okay. Moving on, this is pretty much what it contains. You have um, the uh, the Twitter, the Reddit, and some special thanks section in here from the author. And of course, each individual view has its own uh, customizations. For example, if we go ahead and select Nougat one, which I'm going to do so right now, and we go to customizations in here, as you can see, we have the Nougat one, and I can choose the line color to be something like this, okay? 
and the background color to be something like this, although it's uh, not the best thing you, you have seen today. And then you have the alpha, which is pretty much a transparency key and looks like this. So looks pretty okay. Plenty of customization. Now you can no longer say that you cannot customize your volume rockers on your device. So this was this, um, this smart volume control tweak. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, you are in mode my eye. Peace out.